Megari, Megari, Megari played politics, took Lulu out, okay. became president, okay. recorded the best ever achievement by any FA. Listen, I'm not listen. doubting that. I'm not doubting that. We should not be pedantic. That. We should not be pedantic. Politics will be politics. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying the administrators should just resolve their problems. Resolve about. themselves so that we can move on with football. I don't like talking football, Nigeria football politics. Court room, court room, court mm -hmm. room. I want to talk about what is happening on the pitch. I so agree that's with you totally. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree on that. All right. The football on the pitch. Um, and I don't exactly. girls, yeah, they are with it. The girls are doing us proud, but they are going to be playing <laughs> tomorrow. Let's talk about what's happening tonight, midnight. Um, that's uh, Wednesday morning. Mm. Uh, Ghana will be taking on Finland. Last round of games yeah. in Group A. North Korea will be taking on Canada. We hope the Ghanaians can get a result for Africa mm. uh, and go to the next round. And Group B, you have a group of former champions: Brazil against Germany. USA against China. China. Last round of games in both groups A and B will be tonight, and uh, we will know those teams dropping off. We will know those progressing uh, to the next round after the, this round of games. Nigeria will be playing tomorrow. Uh, we are group leaders. We will be playing England uh, tomorrow. We wish the girls the best of luck. We still have time to talk about the girls, and we will give you a comprehensive review of the Women League tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, Cici Omorogo will be joining us on Sports Tonight then. We'll be able to give you a comprehensive review of all of that on the show. All right. Honorable I call you honorable because uh, <laughs> you want to mediate now. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> I've always been a peacemaker. Mm, mm. <laughs> Thank you for your time. On, Thank you. Uh, and on, just on quickly, mm. just quickly, despite all of this, mm. Our I girls, know you're going to say something about are winning. winning. So the yeah. football politics is not affecting It doesn't affect it. Well, it's, it's looking it's like it's not affecting mm. Four years ago, the same thing. This same on the 20th side got to the finals at Germany. Mm. All right. So maybe there's mm. something coming out from this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Let's go on a quick break now. When we return from the break, we'll make a change. My guest will be coming in. I will introduce him to you. Uh, Dubna Dukonta will also be joining us on Sports Tonight. Many factors define your health. Some you can control, while others are simply beyond you. On Health News, we highlight all these factors and through medical experts provide information that will help you take informed decisions on healthy living, nutrition, and keeping fit. Get incisive health quality analysis. Health News, promoting good health. If you want to know what's trending or you miss your favorite live shows, you can watch it all on our YouTube channel. Simply log on to www.youtube.com forward slash channels web. Scroll down to your favorite program and click play. You can also view all uploaded videos by clicking on view all. Don't forget to subscribe and get the latest videos. If they are interesting, like them and be heard. Get connected with the channel's television YouTube page. The news at your fingertips.
one of the games of the season in the Nigeria National League uh, involving two heavyweights, uh, two traditional clubs in Nigeria, Stationary Stars of Lagos and Shooting Star Sports Club of Ibadan. And the reason we played that is because we have someone uh, that I'm sure a whole lot of superstars fans have been waiting to see talk about this club. Is our guest on sports tonight. Doom Nadio Konta is also here. But the big fish is the chairman, stationary stores, FC, Tilewa Adebajo. Uh, we are happy to have you on, on sports tonight. Thank you very much. We My tried pleasure. to get you on this show so many times, but we see superstars, we see you. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, let me thank you very much, uh, especially Channel Sports, for uh, the coverage of our team. I think you broke the news uh, that we were back, and uh, it's been a very busy season. And, um, you know, trying to combine this with work is not, mm. it's very, very challenging and tasking. But, um, you know, and uh, I said, well, if I'm going to make uh, first TV appearance, then I have no choice but to come here. So I'm here, and I'm happy to be here. Mm. <laughs> That's a big, big privilege, and we're happy to have you as well. But, but tell us about the challenges of um, uh, coming back, because for a long time, we were anticipating superstars will be back, they will be back. At the time when we had lost to, that was when they came back. Well, yes, um, you'd, you'd appreciate that we, when we got the slot earlier this season, we got it very late. Mm. It was just about a week before the season started. And um, at that point in time, you know, I, you know, we had to make a decision whether to um, go ahead uh, or to wait for another season. But we realized that opportunity might not be there. Mm. So we said, well, let's, let's take the plunge. And uh, we had to uh, sign up very quickly. And um, we barely made, uh, I think we concluded our registration and everything two days before the first game. And um, we were able to start. And I think it's been very good to start because you begin to build up and um, uh, the, the, the league has changed significantly. Um, I think the discussion from before, from the, the administration of the league, um, we've been very lucky in the sense that we also have gotten very strong support. Uh, Mr. Dr. Ajigbile, who is the MD of uh, 1960 Bet, Mm. has been very supportive on his uh, sponsorship and branding of the club. Um, so that has helped us significantly in settling down. And But the challenge, of course, with football is that, you know, you need to build a team. And um, you find out that uh, we have worked, we're working very closely with the Cowbell Academy and some other academies in Lagos to bring up a younger group of people. And, you know, the real team would be ready in about a year or two. Mm. Uh, and you find out that we've been experimenting a lot with so many players this season. Uh, but finally, we've had a group of players together now that we can use to conclude this season. And I think that, uh, yes, it's the test run. We're back. Uh, we're playing every season. We're traveling. We're getting crowds. Uh, the turnout has been fantastic. And, um, and I think that, uh, you, know, you, you know, we are trying to be very modest. I think in the in the whole of the both the Premiership and the National League, we have had the highest crowd attendance mm. both home and away this season. So there are a lot of positives to take from it, uh, and the sense that we're just looking at this season as a test run. And um, in terms of setting up our administrative structures, our board structures, our technical structures, you know, so we have a technical team that is uh, chaired by Mr. Dudu Rume. And he's supported as a technical advisor by Mr. Peter Rufai and, of course, our coach and the coaching crew. So they are in charge of all the technical side of things. And um, I, we just tend to focus on the marketing and the management side. Mm. So it's been a very challenging year, but we've overcome it. And, you know, the gentlemen before that were talking, you know, uh, there are many, many issues with the administration of football in Nigeria. Um, you know, referees indemnities mm. are being mm. paid uh, You by find the that by the clubs. So you find out that last week, all the teams that played uh, at home won. Mm. Uh, every single team played home won. And next week, every single team that plays at home will win. Mm. So if you take a look at that, you find out that it, there's, it, it, it distorts the league in the sense that you are at the same spot for the next two months. And, um, you know, if you draw a game at home, then it, it will cost you dearly. Um, so those sort of structures, we need to remove it from the game and make the game more competitive. Because if you take a look at that league and the results, 
to anywhere, uh, they'll tell you it's a fix. 